Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Dobbs here, bringing you guys another NHL 14 gem mode commentary with your New York Islanders. That is right guys, so we're all hung over from the Stanley Cup Finals, alright? So we've been partying, you know, it's been crazy. Man, just a back-to-back -back Stanley Cup win is insane. I've never had that happen before. It's just something click in New York, man. Our offense is unstoppable. It's so damn good. Um, I'm really pleased with our team. Going for it, we got the depth that we want. We got the players coming up, man. We got some studs coming up. We got, like, Aaron Eckblad. We got Griffin Reinhardt, Adam Pellick. I mean, all these players coming up. We got Sam Reinhardt. Jeez, man. We got a lot of really good players coming up. And just everything's in place. I really like the looks of this team. Maybe we can improve a bit on the third line uh, for scoring-wise. But, I mean, if we're shutting down defensively, I don't see a problem with that. Because I really want to I want to bolster our defense. I really want to have a good defense. And that will make us stand out. And become like one of the really good top teams like you know that really stand out like the Penguins like the Chicago Blackhawks and all that right so uh, no one retired a lot of big names retired like Myron St. Louis uh, uh, Dan Boyle a bunch of those guys but uh, not that big of a deal you guys can look through and pause if you'd like uh, trading block um, yeah you know we'll put Jan Mersack on there because I really wanted to get rid of him because he's not really producing uh, to the standard. I like him. And if we could get, like, a, a defense, like, not a defensively minded for it, uh, but like, I guess you could say that, but, like, with a little scoring upside, you know what I'm saying? So um, I really want to uh, – players on the block. Okay, so we'll put Mersack up there. And that's the only oh, – we'll also put Clutterbuck because this contract's kind of bad. Three years at uh, 2.7. I thought it would be a bit better. But we'll put him on there. I'm looking, might be looking to trade a couple of our third liners, maybe him and Mersack. So those two guys are up there. Uh, one year uh, left on Mersack. I doubt anyone's going to go after him, but if they do, he's up there if needed. So there's our trading block. And we're going to the draft with some third round picks, so nothing too special. Um, if we can move up in the second round, I would like to, but if it would take like a uh, prospect or something to move up, uh, we'll just have to see there. And we see we are got some... Uh, uh, trades in here. So second for Clutterbuck. Uh, no, I don't like that. You know, I'd rather hold on to Clutterbuck for the second. And Detroit's a decent team, so uh, I'm gonna keep on to that. If we're getting a player in, in return, yeah. But like a, a second round pick, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not gonna turn out to be anything. So I'd rather we already have some cap, and Clutterbuck isn't a bad player, right? It's just the contract. So if we can get something back for him, um, of equal value, I will. But the second round pick, no, nah, I'm not gonna risk it. Um, well, and then we'll look at uh, Boston, New Jersey. They're probably all second round picks. Yeah, we'll just leave that. And uh, we'll take a look at Boston just in case, right? And a second round pick, yeah. So, no, I'm not going to be doing that. And uh, we'll exit that. So, we don't have our first round pick. This is a huge draft, though. I'm not quite sure if it's a deep draft. But, as you can see, Connor McDavid and Paul Bittner are in this draft. Which, are, they're really good players. And we'll also take a look at the two players. We'll take, we'll take a look at Nashville, Dallas, and Vancouver. So, I'll remember those teams. And, yeah, we'll just go into the second round. We don't have our second round pick. Not too bad, you know, I really don't care, but uh, we'll also take a look at just all the pending calls, just, you know, just to see what we can get. Another second round pick, no. No, 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 I would like to keep on a clutter buck, I think he's worth more than that second round pick. Uh, but yeah, if we needed to, we could, but uh, third round pick, um... Yeah, if we can go after Dallas, Dallas wants to give up their third round pick. I wouldn't mind doing that. Uh, see, we can go like a third, okay, they don't want our third. Uh, we could go a fifth. A f we could just stack up on fifths and sixes. Because they're not going to turn to be anything, right? So, let's give them all the rest of our picks for their third round pick. Will it go through? Nah, whatever. Thought I could make that trade, but it doesn't really matter. Third round is nothing too special. So, we'll just draft whoever I think is the best available. Um... Not quite sure who to choose from here. Uh, any guys with like some grit on them or something in fourth round? Uh, do I know anyone in this draft? No, no one that comes to mind. Is that Dahan's uh, brother, uh, Evan Dahan? It could be. Yeah, they look similar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're brothers. Uh, should we bring in the Devon um, uh, brothers? No, I don't think so. If we can do in the fourth round, then sure. But I'll just go with the top player here. It doesn't really matter. The third round is not going to be uh, too special. So. It doesn't even look like we're going to get Dahan in the fourth round. If it's the fifth round, we'll have a look. Why not, right? So if we can get him, then sure. But uh, after this, we're just going to skip on and go to the resign stage because there's really nothing out there. 
uh, draft wise. But uh, and yeah, see what I'm saying. But we'll go with the six foot two guy, uh, two way forward American. We'll just go with him, and we'll just quicks in the rest. I really don't care. So drafting wasn't really strong whatsoever. So. Uh, what I want to get into is uh, the re-sign, and then we'll take a look at who's available in free agency. And I'll let you guys decide if I should make any free agent signings and all that, but we'll get signing, all right? So let's take a look here, and uh, let's just let's take a look at who we drafted really quick. So I'll uh, just go to the top unsigned players. I believe it's this guy. Was it this Malati guy? I'm not quite sure. He's nothing too special, even if it is him. Uh, Shay, no, no, it wasn't him. Oh, uh, who did we get? That was a two-way type of player. Um, I don't even know. It doesn't even matter, really. Uh, but we'll take a look at what teams was it. I think it was Nashville. Yeah, we'll take a look at how McDavid turned out. And we'll look at uh, Vancouver. So, Connor McDavid, yeah, there you go. 57 overall, 18 years old. So, four and a half stars. He's going to be a stud for sure. Uh, yeah, man, this guy in the real NHL, too. And what a job. I'm really looking forward to that draft. So... Uh, yeah, we'll take a look at uh, Bittner, how he turned out. Was it Bittner? Okay, yeah, so Paul Bittner. Uh, usually he's green star in my other um, GM modes, but he's not a bad player whatsoever. Six foot five, uh, really good power forward there, so that's a good pick. And I believe it was... Was it Dallas? Yeah, I think it was Dallas. So we'll take a look at the other uh, draft pick there. Can't quite uh, remember who it was. Uh, and okay, so... Uh, Sam Pover Ronin, I, I don't even know, I'm going to butcher the fuck out of that name. Uh, not too bad, you know, uh, three and a half stars, kind of like a Casey Sezikis, really. Uh, same potential, same uh, type of player, so uh, not that bad pick there. And yeah, we'll get on to the re-signs, so let's go here. Let's see who we have to re-sign, how much we have to work with. So we got 22 mil, you know what, that's pretty good, just depends on who we have to re-sign. Uh, Yakupov, okay, so we got to get this guy signed for sure. Uh, he wants four years at 4.8. I really want to lock up this guy. So if we can get this guy down to like 4.4, uh, 4, I want like 4.4 for five years. Get him to he's 26 and he gets another big contract. Uh, that'd be really good for us. So if we can get him for 4.4, that'd be really nice. Uh, so there's Yak taken care of. I want to bring back Grabner for sure. How old is he, Grabner? 27. Yeah, we can definitely have this guy back for sure. Uh, two years seems about right. Uh, it takes him to, he's 29, yeah, that's about right, so two years at, um, let's go 3.85, so there you go, uh, he's really going to decline that, but we'll see if we can get him for that, uh, okay, yeah, we definitely want this guy back, he's our playoff performer, what a beast, man, alright, three years is about right for Akpozo, 30 years old, so yeah, that's a good contract, we'll get him to 3 point, yeah, we'll get him to 3.82, so, Three years at three point. That's a pretty nice contract right there. We'll get him down there. Uh, Mersak will leave. I don't know. I really want to re-sign him and then probably trade him. So uh, we'll leave Mersak there because he has some trade value. Uh, TJ Brennan. This guy's a beast, man. 30 points or something like that. Um, Yeah, 35 points, man, for a top six defense. He's also really good on the power play. So, yeah, I definitely want TJ Brennan back. Uh, yeah, two years seems about right. That's a good contract length. Uh, we'll go two years at 2.120. Uh, that's really good. He's I'm de You can definitely see him getting a jump too, so that's a really good contract for us. Uh, Hickey as well. He's got, got 30 points. Pretty, I'm, uh, I think so as well. So we'll get uh, Hickey back for sure. Uh, 1.99. Uh, you know, we'll go there. Sure, we'll sign for that. It seems about right. If they can put up 30 points each for a top six defenseman, I mean, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think it was 30 points, was it? Okay, 20 points. That's still not bad. I mean, really, that's a good That's good for a top 60, man. Uh, Brock Nelson, here we go. So we'll sign Brock Nelson again. Yeah, um, I really don't want to pay one point. I'm just trying to think. Should I get him off three-year contract, too? Um, we'll leave Brock Nelson for now. I'm definitely going to sign him. I just want to take a look at the lengths of other players. So if they're up in two years, so we'll just take a look at who we have to sign in two years. Yeah, we have to sign a couple uh, in one year. Not so. Yeah, we'll come back to him. Matt Donovan. Gotta get. Oh, buyout player. No, I don't want to buy him. Out. I thought we had to resign him. Do we? Oh, it's probably because I'm in. Yeah, okay, I'm a retard. All right, Matt Donovan. We got Squatch. <laughs> we got the Squatch. All right, so uh, 58 points and 70. He should get a good jump. So hopefully he gets a jump there. Uh, Chad the Rose. I uh, don't think I want to keep one of them, but I'll leave him there. Matt Karkner released this fucking uh, dust pail. 
Uh, let's just get rid of any other players we do not need. Uh, Halmo, he's, I'm actually going to resound this guy because uh, he got a nice in the progress reports. He had a lot of stats that went up. So uh, he could turn out to be a uh, like a, a fourth liner. So we'll sign for one year just to see if he can get any more attributes up. Because uh, he had some good progression this year. So we'll have to see about that. So I'll sign him to one year. It doesn't hurt. Uh, Pearson... Yeah, same thing. We'll sign for one year just to see if he turns out anything uh, nice. So we'll sign him there for that. Uh, okay, McDonald can go we'll release uh, McDonald. There we go. There we go. And we'll go all the way up here. Uh, Finley, we can release. Uh, don't really need him. We got too many defensemen in the system, so might as well release the older ones. Uh, LaRosi, Mark Arcabello, get him back for one year just to help out the youngins. You know, even if he doesn't turn out to be anything, he's nice to help out uh, in the minors. So. There we go. Let's see who we can get signed back and who we have to re-sign and all that. And they'll take a look at the cap situation. Okay, so we got Yakupov back. That was a really nice contract. I like that. Grabner's back, which is nice. Okpozo. Oh, I really butchered that. Blech. Jesus. Okpozo's back. I was going to say Oki, but uh, yeah, Okpozo's back, which is good. Hecky's back. Brennan's back. Uh, Pierce, or Pearson, whatever. Almost back. Everyone's back. So that's good to see. We're down to 11 million. And we basically have everyone signed. So, yeah, we have to sign Mersak. We have to sign Nelson. So, we'll do that really quickly. Uh, just not quite sure how long I want to sign Nelson for, right? I mean, might as well sign him for three years, you know? Um, let's see if we can get him for three years at 1.3. That would be a nice contract to get. Uh, so, we'll do that. Still has some upside, right? Get him until he's 26, you know, and then we can base it off of that. We're signing everyone to their prime, and then we can uh, give them their real contracts then and move some players and all that. So that's nice to see. Uh, we definitely want Phillips back. We paid a lot for this guy, so get him to three years and sign him for that. Hopefully he turns out to be like a second liner or something. That'd be nice. Uh, Johan Sundstrom, he's a, listed as a fourth liner now, so might as well lock this guy up. He probably has uh, some nice uh, base stats, really. Uh, so yeah, he does. He has some really nice base stats for uh, that overall. So yeah, definitely would like to sign for that. Um, uh, unsigned players? No, I don't want to sign any of these guys. So I'll just let them progress how they are. Uh, Smithy, we uh, might as well sign this guy too. Uh, three years? Uh, yeah, we could do that. Mm. I'll give him two. We'll give him two because he can still help out down there. Okay, and Anders Nilsson. Yeah, we'll give him a one year. Sure. There we go. Just to see how he turns out. We're good goalie wise for sure. We have really deep goalies, so um, I'm happy to see that. Uh, and what else do we need to do? Uh, yeah, Mursak. We're gonna sign him, and I'm probably gonna train him for like a better third line. I just don't think he's a custom for that third line, you know. So. Uh, we'll go two years at 2.10. Uh, we'll just do that. I don't want my three-year contract in case we can't move or something. Uh, so that's that. And uh, we'll see who signs and who doesn't. Do, 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 do. It was an easy decision. So Nielsen signing back. Sundstrom signing back. Nelson signs back. That's a nice contract for us. I really like that. Uh, so Mersac signs as well and Zach Phillips. So there we go. It's Jeremy Smith as well. So we're down to 9.7 in cap. Not too bad. We actually have a lot of flexibility. I'm going to release Rose for now. I'll uh, just see how good he's defensively. Uh, yeah, 82. So yeah, we could get someone better in free agency. And I think he's a two star. Or is he three? Yeah, he's three star. So. LaRose did fine, but I just think we can uh, upgrade down there, especially with 9.7. I mean, we really don't need any more positions filled, and I find that if we can get a better fourth liner, that uh, it'd be worth it. You know, we got the money, so why not uh, go out and spend a bit? Uh, okay, so I think that is that for signing. Uh, just take a look at goalies really quick, and yeah, we are good. So good signings, really like that. So we'll go ahead and sign to free agency. Or, uh, sign to free agency, what am I talking about? Oh, we'll go up to free agency and just think about signings and all this. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there and see who's available. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hopefully it's a deep free agency. I really hope so. And, uh, yeah, we'll take a look. Sign some free agents. We're not going to sign in this. Side. Holy shit. Patrick freaking Kane with free agency? God damn, man. What the fuck, Chicago? What are you thinking? Dude, I wouldn't be... Wow. If if we could trade Grabner 
Oh, man, we could really stack up on that first line, but I don't know. It could be risky. We could trade Grabner and get Patrick Kane for that first line, then have Yakupov on the second line. I mean, man, that would be a... Oh, man, that would be overkilling it, though. If you guys want me to do the Patrick Kane thing, let me know in the comments, man. I would be a real... Man, I wouldn't be that uh, opposed to going after Patrick Kane. Man, that would be insane. Imagine Patrick Kane, John Tavares, and fucking Landeskog. Oh my days, that'd be disgusting. So let me know in the comments of you guys, uh, who you guys want me to sign. Uh, it seems like a really good free agency. I mean, we got some players like Brad Boys. Maybe he can help with the fill of that third line, you know, if we trade away uh, Mersak, Ole Okunin, Moss, you know, just a bunch of uh, depth players. Uh, Teddy Peckham hit free agency, so we traded him away before. Uh, we it will, So we can get something back. Robert Bertuzzo, so... Looking pretty good in free agency. I mean, Patrick fucking Kane, man. That's insane. Uh, so, and these are the uh, depth players. Joel Colburn, uh, too. That wouldn't be... I wouldn't be... Uh, that'd be a pretty good signing there. I mean, we could play him on the right wing. He'd definitely get the jump. I mean, geez. Uh, yeah, we could go after uh, Joel Colburn, you know? How much does he want? Yeah, he wants a two-way. So, yeah, we could go after, like, a player like Colburn, you know? Sign some more depth uh, defensemen, some depth forwards. Uh, a lot of options here. I'm surprised. Jesus, man. That's insane. Uh, oh, Hutchinson's a, a really good backup. I mean, we could sign some more goalies if we need to. I mean, uh, it's a uh, pretty deep free agency, if I don't say so myself. You know, we got Robin McGarrett, Justin Williams if we need. Uh, some goal scoring, you know. So a lot of good uh, players are in free agency. So let me know in the comments, guys, who you guys want me to sign. Should I go after Patrick Kane? Because, I mean... How crazy would that be, man? Like, honestly, that'd be insane. So, can we go to LA? No, I think we'll just go to contracts. Uh, just see that I'm not fucking retarded. Um, so, we can go to Tavares, Landeskog, and Patrick Kane. 89s across the board on the first line. Then we can have, like, a, a line of Yak, um, Lars Eller, and Okpozo. Or we could trade... No, I don't want to trade with Okpozo. Well, we could trade with Okpozo, but... I, I like that power forward there cause since we're getting so many snipers. Uh, so, yeah, we could trade Grabner, you know. And uh, Sezik is on the third line with uh, Mursak. Just say, I want to trade for another player. And we could sign Clutterbuck for right now. We could trade away Clutterbuck. Uh, there's a lot of options. So, we got a lot of uh, flexibility forward-wise. Let me know what you guys want to, uh, me to do. We have the cap space for Patrick Kane. If we trade away Grabner, uh, that frees up like $4 million. So, I mean, we're paying an extra $3 million for a superstar. And he, he's even better, right? So, I mean, it's kind of worth it. And our defensemen are turning out pretty nicely. So, I'm really happy with that. Just want to see what their contracts are. Uh, see when they are up. So, we'll go overall-wise. Uh, yeah, we got Myers for like a really long time. We also got Olsner on a really good contract too for a couple years. Ekman Larson on a few years. So yeah, our defensemen are pretty much locked up. I mean, and we could trade Patrick Kane like the third year or something like that. So I really would like to make that move for Patty Kane. So we'll just have to see. It would be an offensive juggernaut. It would be disgusting, man. Oh my goodness. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments who I should sign. All that good stuff. Who I should trade away. What should I get back? You know, give me some suggestions. You guys have been good lately with that, so I do yeah, appreciate that. And once again, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys, for more HO14 GM mode commentaries. That is right, guys. Peace. All this attention got me hype. Cut the lights, baby. This ain't only for the night. Baby, this is life. Uh, this is where I'm taking flight and never touching down. Said it now, they know I meant it when I said